Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for August 2023. This is a love reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today we are going to start with an Oracle card reading, then we'll have a Tarot reading, then another Oracle card reading. So three readings today for the low, low price of nothing. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. So if you're looking for guidance about career and money and moving, that would be a good day to check back. Mondays are different every week. Today is the only week of the month I do a love reading. Next week, it'll be something entirely different. I'm not offering personal readings right now, but when I do, I will make an announcement on the channel and with the details on how to access those. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love. All right, we'll get right to it here. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love because we know where our attention goes, the energy grows. And so if there have been some things in your past, some barriers to love, some other outside issues, whether it's money or strife with family or friends or falling out or whatever, you know, when we do that, we start to, to promote a barrier. And if we're single or if it's a situation where you're in a relationship, and maybe you're, you and the outlaws haven't been getting along or you and their friends or, or them and your friends or something like that. When we get disconnected from love, it starts to bring in more challenges into the relationship. Express your love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. What I actually saw was a note, like a handwritten note. So if somebody's doing that, I do feel like that is going to go a long way. I mean, there's nothing like it. And even if you are in a situation where you're single, you might even give a card to a coworker. I mean, not a romantic one. We don't need you to have HR on your back. But, you know, or a neighbor, hey, thanks for doing that. I appreciate you. If it's appropriate in your workplace culture, okay, we don't want to do anything that would be way outside of the bounds of what your day-to-day -day life would permit. But I love this one. It reminds me of Marianne Williamson every time I see it. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. She was in an interview, I think it was with Oprah, and she talked about that song by Neil Diamond and even taught, told people, sing it to yourself every morning. Turn on your heart light. Get into that place where that's where you live, in your heart light. And from there, you're going to attract love. You're going to attract support. All right, Pisces, let's see here what the tarot wants to tell you about love. What else does Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus need to know to attract the love of their lives into their lives? What advice do you have for Pisces about love, please? Messages for Pisces about love. All right, so we will take three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice your energy here is the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups. Boy, you've got a great energy. Three of Pentacles. Their energy is the Seven of Wands. In Hot Pursuit, I get the Star and the World. I was feeling like I haven't seen the World in a long time. We've got the Five of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Interesting, Four Five of Wands. Well, I do feel like for somebody here, and it may be them, um, if they are dealing with some kind of a change around them, it is creating some chaos. And so with the fives, it is about change and it's about allowing change. The more we resist, what we resist persists. So I, I do see though, uh, there's love here. I mean, especially to your energies are great for one another. There may be something here about compromise. If it's in a relationship and you've gotten a breakup, Somebody here, you've got a soulmate energy. So if you're in a breakup with those two fives, with the four of wands, this is a marriage. I mean, so somebody, you may end up getting back around and it ends up becoming a marriage. Um, so again, we're reading the energy of the cards. I had somebody leave a comment 
that is like really following tarot. They're not understanding that it's guidance. Okay, you still have free will. Okay, everybody, let's make sure we're doing that. And I know I probably have received a few of the crazies that have been excommunicated from some of the channels that have like 400,000 subscribers. They're showing up here now and giving me flack. So it's good to know though, because then I can just remove them. But let's talk about you. So with this, I love this, how it's one, two, three. Are we getting that? Ace, two, three. That one, there's something about one, two, three that really stands out here. So for some of you, with this Ace of Wands, it can be an apology. And I'm getting like a very frank apology and it might be coming towards you, somebody that says, this is what I'm getting. I, I made a choice that I knew would hurt you and I did it anyway and I'm wrong. It's something like that. Like, I mean, that's a pretty mature apology. I've never had one like that delivered to me, but I do feel like, especially those of you um, the, you, that are attracting this person, they have maturity with the world and the star. Now we have Aquarius here. We've got quite a bit of fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have water, of course, and we do have earth. So I do feel like for you too, though, aces are also about initiation. So you may still get that apology and say, but I'm not going back to that. If you can make a choice to hurt me that you knew was going to hurt, I'm going to go on to somebody else who won't do that in the first place. Um, but with the two of cups, it is a match. Okay, so I'm a little conflicted about this because I keep getting this ping pong kind of feeling because with the two of cups for somebody here, you do have reconciliation and I don't want to, you know, put my, my two cents into it. I'm just trying to read the cards with that two of cups. though, it is saying that it's worth the investment. So for somebody here, I do keep getting that damn apology and you might say, I'm going to, I'm going to take a second swing at them. Because that two of cups is pretty damn hard to deny. When that shows up, it's like there is there is a soulmate energy here. Now, with the three of pentacles, though, that is about moving forward. And it is about a mutual respect. It's about being able to grow together. It's sort of a teamwork energy. So with the three of pentacles, I it, you know, it becomes one of those things where I hear them saying we make a great team. And so if there's something, I hate to bring this up because I hate saying negative stuff when I, you know, I, but I saw somebody changing a flat tire. Okay, I'll just give it to you because it's like it's in this setting. I don't want to manifest that for somebody, but I did see it, that kind of a thing. Or maybe it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, crap, now what? And then all of a sudden you go, God, we made a great team. We really figured that out. But look, that can happen to anybody. So I do feel like with that three of pentacles, you're going to have somebody that comes towards you who really does admire you, respect you. And I feel like you can be yourself easily. You can let your guard down and it's just easy. So with their energy here, they have a fabulous energy, by the way. If they've been through something with that seven of wands, that's a card of perseverance. And so with the two cards that are here, the two fives and the advice, for somebody here, it may be about, you know, putting the wands down, being able to say, that was an old chapter. This is a new chapter and I want to move forward with you. But whoever this is, though, I do feel like with the energy of the star, you're, you're what comes in as their wish fulfillment. The wish fulfillment is manifesting you. And so for some, if it is reconciliation, I do feel like it would be, their heart feels full to me. I feel like it is something that they've dreamed about. And they may even say to you, if, if it is a reconciliation, I've been having dreams about you. Because I feel like their subconscious has not let you go. And so it keeps coming into their awareness. It's like their subconscious keeps trying to process it with them when they're in that dream state. Now, for others of you, though, with a new person and that Ace of Wands is brand new energy, it is somebody, again, who says, Pisces, you are a breath of fresh air. You are the one that I've been feeling. I've been feeling like I was going to meet you, and now I finally did. They're manifesting you. And with the world, that's everything. I mean, especially the world and the star together, that's a relationship that is exactly what they've been looking for. They're really here to, to be straight from the heart, to be in love with you. And if they do live at a distance, I do see somebody moving, because I do get that for one of you. It's like a distance thing. And so with the world energy, that dancer of the tarot, it really is nirvana. It's a place of feeling not just success, but feeling like it's, like it's an absolute match. 
So I feel like this person will be on top of the world with you. I hear cloud on cloud nine. So there may be some synchronicity to all these corny expressions that keep popping into the reading. Um, I do feel like with that, though, they might even say it. Maybe they're a little sarcastic and funny and they like to use somewhat um, old fashioned sayings if that's them too and that's why that's coming in because they do a lot of that because they think it's funny i don't know but i want to tell you they are funny they have a nice sense of humor i can tell you that and so i do feel like even though they've got that seven of wands they've learned enough to know how to take things in stride in a relationship well how about these guys who well that five of cups is definitely disappointment and for some of you too it's about letting go of the grief of an old relationship of a dream we build our reality around these pictures right these relationships that we see in a certain way and sometimes even have our whole identity tied to them and so we start to build our reality and when they slip away or they end or the person leaves or whatever it's like oh my god who am i now and so I do feel like it stirred up some conflict, especially with that five of wands being there. But I feel like they're trying to tell you the four of wands, it's like letting go of what was and going towards what is, what's available to you. So the four of wands is law of attraction energy. It is a marriage. It is a wedding. And so for some of you, it, it really is about letting go. If it's a reconciliation, you've got to let go of those fives. We, ca we can't get into four of wands with those two fives hanging out in the relationship. Um, but others of you too, it may be symbolic of having a new relationship and really learning from the old ones, learning and saying, I'm not repeating that again, because it brought heartache. I mean, there's definitely heartache there. So let's see here what the angels want to tell you, Pisces, about love. What else does Pisces need to know about love? Oh boy. Okay, let's get these under control. Messages for Pisces. Advice for Pisces, please. All right, you have success. That always reminds me of the chariot. Things moving forward. It's a little bit of a seven of wands too. The situation will improve. So if you have had some heartache, they're trying to tell you we got to let go of it to move on. Remain positive. So I feel like they keep beating that drum. And you're ready. So, you know, maybe it's time to put yourself out there if you're looking for new love. You do have a yes here, but good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you too. And I'll be back again soon.